It's been two weeks since I've been able to record in this studio, and what's happened in the meantime? Air Show Mageddon. Hello folks, welcome back to the Video Gadgets channel. And as I say, this studio isn't actually a studio, it's a spare bedroom. So when visitors come, I lose the studio to human beings, which has been the case for the last two weeks. And just before I lost access to this beautiful recording space, we were in the middle of a 22 certificate recycle. Well, the certificate is back, but they've made a complete balls up of it as usual. We have new airshow alternatives, but there's problems there as well, so let's take a look. Now, perhaps I'm being a little overcritical of Tutu Helper. After all, they did rescue airshow when it first got upgraded to the broadcast version. But unfortunately, they've also done exactly the same thing, just as they have done before. Usually, when you download Airshow from Tutu, it's 061, which has the recording facilities, but whenever the certificate gets revoked, they upgrade it to 071, which means we don't have a recording facilities. As demonstrated, if you launch the application as downloaded from Tutu Helper, you'll get the login screen, which is usually bad news. And as you can see, if I log into the Airshow program, you can only see a broadcast screen. And if I go into the information panel, we are on 071, completely useless to any screen recorders out there. Now, I have already told Tutu about this in a tweet I sent them about 10 days ago, which simply said, when you resign the certificates, you keep updating it to Airshow 071. Nobody wants this. They want 061 to screen record. I sent this to them three or four times, and I've been completely ignored, along with several hundred other people who have tweeted to to as well so today I started a campaign which is to simply get airshow to roll it back with a new tweet which includes a hashtag to to save airshow you can use this tweet if you want to or send your own tweet to 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 but just try and include the hashtag and maybe they will pick up on it so in the meantime do we have another solution for airshow which is free the answer is yes with a big problem. The URL you want to point your Safari browser to is ipasigner.io and it's a very simple web page with a selection of applications, none of them pirated, which gets a big thumbs up from me. But right at the bottom here, you will find Airshow and if you tap on that, it will install it onto your iOS device in the usual manner, whereby you will get a brand new application on your home screen, which has a certificate that isn't trusted. But that's no problem because we know how to trust these, don't we? So there we are. It's the untrusted enterprise developer error. Go to settings and you should find a new certificate. Tap on that blue words, red trust button, and we should have a working version of Airshow. Is that correct? Yes, but we have this login screen as usual from the 22071 version. Let's explore that in a little more detail. Now, once you're logged in, does this pop-up look familiar? If it doesn't, it's because it appeared on Airshow around about a year ago, because this is an ancient version of Airshow, 045. Back in the days where you did have to log into a show account, but you can use whatever you want in terms of Twitter, Facebook, Google, and whatnot. But it does have the recording feature right here, which is brilliant news, kind of. Because when you do a screen recording, you'll get the usual problem whereby it's all glitchy and black and doesn't work. Uh, usually to fix that, you would put that through a video editor. But when I did that with this version of a recording, what I got was nothing more than a blank screen. Black. Video conversion didn't work. So just to do some comparisons, this is a video recording using Airshow 061 without being exported via a video editor. It plays normally unless I scrub it, in which case it goes all horrible and glitchy, and we're well aware of this and we know how to fix it. This is a 045 Airshow video recording without being edited, and if I play that, absolutely nothing happens. It's not even playing the video, and if I scrub it, the video falls over and goes back to my photo gallery. Once I put it through a video editor without making any changes, it got even worse. Just a black screen, not playing the video at all. And if memory serves me right, what this was, was when you could screen record on iOS 9. When it got upgraded to iOS 10, Apple devices, 
you had to start using Airshow 05 and ideally 06. So IPA Signer as a new source have nearly got it right. They've got the wrong version of Airshow. They just need to upgrade it to 061. And guess what? I've also tweeted IPA Signer iOS, that's their Twitter feed right there, asking them whether they could upgrade Airshow to 061 rather than 045, as it would help all of you guys. They haven't responded to me either, so get in touch with them and bother them if you can, and I'm trying to get in direct contact with them because it would be really useful to have another Airshow source. And that pretty much sums up the reason why my channel has been inundated with comments over the last couple of weeks about how you can no longer get Airshow working on your device. Tutu have let us down once again and they don't seem to be in any rush to fix it and this new source IPA signer isn't quite right yet. Hopefully they will fix it in the future. So unless you have a working version of Evrecord or you managed to get Visorec before they took down the download link once again, you're a little bit screwed when it comes to free screen recording options for your iOS device. As always, I will be continuing to monitor the area and will update you as soon as there are any more options available to you. Otherwise, if you've got any leads or sources or rumors, let us know in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your tech day and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now. So in the two weeks I've been away, we've had some major problems with Airshow, but it's simply been down and it's... Jesus! <laughs>